Well hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Watts Farm for Farm Sim 17. Oh, speaking of which, my buddy Paul O'Brien found this for me. Thought I'd really like it. It's all fixed up and looking just wonderful. Comes with tire chains, and really sweet little ride this thing. I think it's Italian by make, I'm not sure. Have a good look at her here. That's pretty slick. <laughs> anyway, I was uh, phoned up Castle Carpets there a couple of days back. They get a little bit of work. One of the carpets in the kitchen at the house replaced. And, uh, Rather to my surprise, the owner himself, Darren, answered the phone. And he said, uh, geez, buddy, that nobody told you we don't do carpets anymore. I'm like, what? And not outrageous. He says, what's the date on your phone book? I said, 1957. He said, it's 1963. What the heck's the matter with you? So, uh, apparently, the thing that he does do now is of great interest to me. And absolutely gratis, he has installed it up at our wood plant. So I'm going to go and have a look at this. He says it's kind of like a carpet, but more like a magic carpet. Quite frankly, I think the old boy's losing it, but let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Got to go up there, flip a few wood chips around anyway. So I just don't know. Darren Castle and his magic carpet, eh? Well, let's see what all this is about then. Oh, well, it was. Got up about 5 o'clock this morning. I kid you not, it was raining so darn hard out here. I thought it was going to wash all of our fields back down into the slough there. But, oh well, boy, it was one of those summer rains, you know. Lasts about 10 minutes, but boy, dumps about nine swimming pools on your face in that amount of time. So, let's uh, see what's up and up out. One of my favorite parts of the farm. So, what? Oh, yeah, I need to be moving wood chips. What the heck we got going on here? What is this ginormous green thing? Well, look at that. Look at that. That's some kind of a little mobility system thing. Got rollers down between the slats. Oh. So when the auto loader pushes down another pallet, it pushes this one up a little further along the line. Ah, uh, well, that's just an amazing pita kit, isn't it? Seriously. I mean, who'd have thought putting rollers into these things? Yeah. Well, I do thank you, Darren. That was an awful nice gesture, buddy. I uh, will uh, let you know how these turn out. That's whoa! Why is light red? Well, ain't that the freakiest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> I play with that all day. Oh, I probably shouldn't break the dang thing. All right. Well, that's an interesting piece of tech. Hmm. Seeing as it's not powered, it's just a tricky little sets of slats and rollers. It's not going to break down on me either. That's a bonus. Hmm. Well, thank you, sir. Oh, I know what's going on here. I know what's going on here. Yes, I do. See, Darren's place is just up through the woods there, eh? And uh, I'll bet he saw me. He was probably walking that dog of his up here in the trees and saw me... Uh, Put pushing <laughs> ever so gently as I'm known to do pushing one of these pallets of wood over to the other side and I guess because he happens to be one of the people that buys that wood on occasion probably didn't like seeing it getting knocked butt over tea kettle all the way across my property to get her over there so <laughs> either way though much appreciated much appreciated there we are 
Everything's running. I don't even have to move that thing right now. That's slick. I wonder, that looks like that's going to hold the few. But I wonder how long the pallets can push that out before it just gets to be too much for them. Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose by then I should probably have unloaded the thing at least once or twice. That would be the answer to that question, that's for sure. Okay. Now, let's just grab one more load just to say we have. Yeah, we still get lots of logs left. Excellent. I'm trying to figure out if this is actually a closed system. Like, are we producing more wood chip than we're dumping in here? If we are, good for us. If we're not, well, I mean, it doesn't matter because we're fueling the thing. So, and as long as the production rate isn't below it, so it costs us money to get wood chips in here, I guess we're winning. You know what? I like winning. <laughs> Losing's easy. Winning's fun. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm impressed. I don't know, you're going to get the market for that that you would for kitchen carpets, but hey. Good on you, man. Alright, next order of business. We're going to uh, run some milk down to the honeybee factory and see how they're doing on their production down there. Well, look at that. Soil temperatures today are the warmest they've ever been. We've hit 10 degrees. That's a nice thing. Crops are looking good. Everything's up a little taller than it was. Yeah, I think the local boys are going to be pretty happy this year. I mean, with us just getting started on our fields, we may not do as well as we will come next year, but... I think this will be enough. And tell me there's at least something on the corn by now. My goodness. These little sprouts take their time popping the heads up, don't they? Man. Although, granted, this is the first day it's been warm enough, and it's only been warm enough for the last couple hours, so... Well, we could spend the whole field walking up and down looking for a sprout, but I think I'll just let it happen. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty then. Oh, I suppose while we're here with the tractor. Do 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 do. trailer park there somewhere. thing works or what excuse me no I used to fit under there I must have gotten taller uh, water and dunger. oh whoa, 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 whoa. well I bet you that turn stop flapping about in the wind there you're embarrassing everybody let's try this side instead shall we <laughs> ok 
pie. There we go. 984 on the money. Okay. Pretty salute, dude. Now, I'm not sure where that... Uh, particular honey thing there was built, that trailer of ours. But I'm hoping she's going to have some kind of compatibility for the tow hitch on it. Because I'd like to use our truck full of milk to take her down there and save us some time. I mean, it looks like a fairly standard hitch. Yeah, sure. Bum, 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 bum. Because I think we've got almost a full truck of milk to go down. Always a good thing. Right, ladies? Doing well this morning, are we? Fine summer day. They were up early. That's a neat thing, too, eh? If you uh, advance nighttime. See, I didn't realize. I thought it was based on time. But uh, I've been told it's actually based on light. And if you advance through the night... This morning, I think it was like... Four or five o'clock in the morning and it came on again. <laughs> Not bad. 5,100 liters of milk. Yeah, we should definitely uh, think about taking this down. Lovely. Thank you, ladies. Doing a wondrous job, you are. See, so, yeah, I was like uh, 10 o'clock at night when I finally got to advance the time and then... Uh, it was like 4.30, quarter to 5 in the morning, and it was, get out of bed, go get to work, dude. The sun, she is a-shining. Well, actually, it wasn't this morning. Like I said, it was hammering down rain so hard you could hardly walk. But, uh, it went away awful quick, I gotta admit. Alright, let's, uh, yeah. See, uh. How this little project's gonna go for us. I see nothing. Where the heck are we? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, those mirrors must be pointing at somebody else's truck because I just cannot see anything out of them. And I do mean anything. Alrighty, let's see how we're doing here. Oh, not even close. Yeah. <laughs> this is just not convenient, is it? Uh, there we go. Okie dokie. Please be close enough. Thank you. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. Well, is everybody down there fishing today? too. Hey, bud. <laughs> right on. Right on. He just absolutely loves that little spot. Old retired fella. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, there's something I kind of don't really understand is why they provide this at all, to be honest with you. Um, you know, because I'm pretty sure that our honey comes pre-packaged. See? Honey. 100%. 90 liters. This one's not quite full, but that one obviously is. 100%. 500 liters. But why do you need a trailer like this? Hmm. I mean, it's not like we can use it, I'm sure. Yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to do that, actually. Huh. There isn't, as far as I know, any sort of, uh... No? Hmm. Well, this is a bit of a mystery. Let's jump out and see if we can figure out how the heck this all works, shall we? Because one would assume that if we grab a set of these, <coughs> that the idea is they're going to make them a product back here, mix it with this, uh, mix it with the milk, and make the other product we're looking for. There we go. That's the ticket. Well, we can certainly grab these little hand ones. And then the other ones, we just need to get the loader down here and take them in. Okay, perfect. Oh. Thanks, man. Got another hive ready. Beautiful. I think these will hold like four a piece or something. Yeah, he's got space. How many has he got? Two. And two. I think they're still even. So. There we are. Let's get room for one more. Sunflowers. I don't think we have a lot of sunflowers, buddy. To be honest with you. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we are. He's back to producing. Excellent. Excellent. Alrighty. Well, that's a little better, right? Eh? Oh, there's the first box ready to go. And how's this doing? Not quite, eh? Just make sure it's right in the spot. And we got 500 liters there ready to go. There's our happy workman. So I guess this thing is actually just for uh, unloading the final product from there. I mean, I know you can also use it to carry milk around, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I think what we'll just do, though, is uh, run it over here. Hey, our grass is finally coming in. Beautiful. Beautiful thing, man. Our milk. All right, 
how are you doing? 19% honey, 22% milk. Look at that, honey milk. 2,500 liters. There we are. It is working. All right, we do need to come down here with the uh, loader, of course, and uh, see to the rest of that. But that's really cool. We figured that much of it out. Nice. Down here, we might as well grab another big gulp of water in the truck. After all, the free stuff is free. Uh, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. I'm not going to drive an idiot. Oh, it's a big load. Ugh. There we are. They're paying a little attention. These guys should all still be pretty much topped up. Oh, they're doing really well. Nice, healthy-looking plants. And I would imagine the fine folk we've got on the farm are doing pretty well as well. So, let's go park you up. I'm going to keep you down this end of the farm now, I think. Come on. Actually, while we're still thinking about it, why don't we grab you and hook the trailer up and see how we're doing for slurry. Come on. I know there's brakes in there somewhere. Slurry. Oh, that's it? Wow. Alrighty then. Oh, well, I guess we have collected it fairly recently. Uh, probably no point dragging on down to the pigs with it then. If it's that little. Good to know, though. Good to know. Wonderful. Well, I don't really think we've got that much else to take care of today, folks. I don't, I don't. It's not like I gotta go lift pallets of wood off. <laughs> no siree. So, with all that said and done, water, dunger. Mm-hmm. Hmm, where is this guy? Is... Ah. Uh, just in search of a little liquid nutrient there, are ya? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, folks, well, I think that's probably gonna do it for us. 
Not the uh, longest time we've been on the farm for a day, but it's good to be back on Watts, and we've got a whole bunch more to do tomorrow. So, take care of each other. Hit the like button. Remember to favorite, subscribe, and share. And above all, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. Oh, these fields are looking just gookum. <laughs>